spiritually. Says, <clears throat> November 4th, 1990, until I renounced Jesus in 2018. I had a sense of the atonement. I had asked Jesus to declare me absolutely righteous by his death shed blood on that cross. Claiming it had death, his sinless death and shed blood on that cross. That whenever God saw me, he would see no sin, past, present, or future. Even before I was converted in 2014, I had a sense <coughs> that the atonement, I, 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 I had a sense of the atonement. Like it, I, it was applied to me that like, that and prayer had been answered. Where it's ever since I renounced Jesus, I don't have. I, I have a sense I still got Jesus, but why do not? Why do I not have the sense that I got that to, um, atonement anymore? I sense that I, 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 I. It's like I, not, I lost what I had of, of the atonement. I lost it. If I can only get back that atonement, I'll be all right. But I lost it. I can't get it back. I can't even want to get it back enough. No, I can't even want to get it back. It's like a lost person trying to squeeze his way back in, but unable to drop his sin. Whereas before, whereas when I was converted in 2014, something happened in my life that made all my Christian life, quote unquote, prior to the, that seemed like garbage. I was flood, flooded with the love of Jesus. I keep trying to get it back. I'm being real honest with myself. If I do have it, I accept it. I accept, I accept keeping it. But if I don't, don't have it, I, I keep trying to accept it, but I don't want to. I do, but I, I, I no, I just said, go ahead and say it. If I don't have the atonement, I can't, I just can't say it, but I can't, I can't, I can't accept it if I don't got it. I can't accept it. My ties to myself and my sin. Is it possible that I still got it? Even though I renounced him and I had, I got something from Jesus in that jail. That I had never had all my previous quote unquote Christian life. That had to be the new birth. If it, if it was not the new birth, I don't know what the hell it was. I hope I do. But, but Watchman Z says, be honest with Jesus. So I'm doing this in front of y'all. I want my fling. I want to be a good looking guy. I want to have my dreams and lose out on the heavenly rewards and be saved in the end. I wanted to love me like what he once did. I want back what I had. But the problem that's really disturbing me, I don't want this. Do I want this even if I have to be ugly, fat? Right now, I'm saying this. Jesus. Give me my good looks, give me my long arms, give me my three dreams, all the females, and save me in the end right now. That's what I'm saying. But still, if I don't have you, Jesus, I'm not happy. Right now, I want to have my fling. I want the best of both worlds, and the rewards in heaven be damned. Just give me, just love it like you once did. Give me the Bible wisdom. And get me to heaven. And extra rewards in heaven be damned. I want to be a good looking guy right down here. And screw you for me not being able to lose this weight. And screw you that I can't eat like I want to and be thin. Screw you. I shoot you the finger for this weight being unable to lose. I, I shoot you the finger for me being pudgy and fat. Make me pay a dear cost. Just get, let me be thin. I'll pay it almost any cost. Just let me be thin and sexy and able to pig out every once in a while and not get, not get pudgy. Fuck you for this fat God. Fuck you. On 
unsexy, unhappy, not be, if I never get my dreams, I'm willing to have, but, but am I, do I, do I want it, but not want it if I have to give up my dreams, that really bothers me, or uh, more correctly, do I want it if I can't have my dreams, I'm willing, but some, some was messed up with me when I announced Jesus, something's messed up, something's wrong with me. I'm having, I used to never have a problem believing in Jesus. Now, I wonder if he's even real. How, and look, how can I, if someone puts a gun to my head and tell me, deny Jesus or I'm going to shoot you, how can I keep from denying him if I'm wondering if he's true? If I'm wondering if it's life after death? And if I. I think part of the reason I don't want Jesus is. If he's not, if Jesus is not true, I don't want him. I only want Jesus if he's true, objectively true, as true as that, as true as I have always believed in him to be true. I don't want, if Jesus is not true, I don't want any other religion. If Jesus is not, if, if, the car, if Jesus is not true as recorded in that Bible, as I, as I have always believed him to be, I don't want him. But if it is, I'm willing. But, you know. I'm definitely going to go to hell. I mean, let me say I'm, that. Like I said, if you deny Jesus when pointing the, um, they point a gun at you and you deny Jesus, you're going to go to hell when you die. And it's going to be a bitch to get forgiven because when, once you deny him, you're going to open yourself up to demons and they're going to make it impossible almost to, to be able to come back to him. That's why I'm wondering if it happened to me. I believe if you're a true born again Christian, you do not you deny Jesus. But uh, keep from dying, you lose your salvation. You, you're full for your salvation. You go to hell. I believe that that's what I'm thinking. That 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 I, that's what I believe. But if I have the atonement, I hope I do. I accept it. But if I don't have it, I cannot. I can't accept. It. And I used to have that atonement. I used to have it, but now I lost it. I can't get it back. I do, but I can't. Explain this to me. How is it that I feel Jesus near? Like I might still have Jesus, but I don't feel I'm covered by the atonement. That don't make any damn sense. And much more, I've asked Jesus a prayer, and he's not answered my prayer. A real Jesus answers real prayers. And if he's not answering my prayer, is he even real? Maybe that. And let me tell you something. If I have committed an unpardonable sin, if God will not take me back, only, only, only if this is so. I don't want to have to do this, but I'm doing it anyway. I curse the Holy Ghost and commit the unpardonable sin. That's only if it is impossible for me to be saved now. No matter how much I beg and plead. Only, only if that's so. To lose this fat. Not to be thin and sexy and able to kind of make gluttony like I want to. And be thin and sexy and be a hot guy. Had the long forms and look at my twenties and have my dreams and seen and be seen by top, uh, never in the same stream of top notch girls. And for our social media fame and for my songs to be hits. In other words, Jesus, if you're saving me, Jesus Christ, can I please also have these dreams and, do, and be the least in the kingdom of heaven, the absolute least in the kingdom of heaven? 
But if I have committed an unpardonable sin, it's too late for me to be saved. I curse the Father, I curse the Son, and I curse the Holy Ghost that let me enrage you and get my dreams that I might be damned a trillion times worse than I would have been damned had I not lived my dreams. That's what the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. And for this fat I got, I shoot you finger that I cannot lose this weight and keep it off. And I'll, at the same time, eat like what I want to. Fuck you, God. For this weight, fuck you. I want to... God damn it. I want to look young. I'm, I'm begging you, Jesus. I'm begging you to save me. But if you're not going to save me, either, either way, whether you save me or not, I'm begging you. Please let me have that. I beg you. I'll get down on my hands and knees and beg you. Let me be the good-looking guy. Please don't make me have to say it. For all, please understand what I'm trying to say from my heart. Let me be the good looking guy. Let me look like a college young kid. And let me be totally sexy, good looking, hot, and a social media star. But Jesus, can I have you back? Can I have you back as I had you? Can I? I want you, but part of me doesn't. What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? That's only. I'm talking about uh, the only way I curse the Holy Ghost for my dreams is if I unsave them now. If, it's, uh, if there is no possibility that God will ever save me, that's the only then. Because look, if I'm going to hell, if I'm going to hell, God damn it, God damn it, give me my good life right here, God damn it. At least let, don't let me have both lives miserable. If I had to be miserable in the hereafter, God damn it, let me live it up down here and suffer it a trillion, trillion times worse in the next life then I would suffer in the ne next life if I had losing this life also fuck you I've crossed the line and God will not save me or cannot save me no matter how much I beg if, if there's hope I don't do this but I still again back to being honest with Jesus I want my fling my uncle had his fling he, he got saved I want the best of both worlds and fuck the heavenly rewards. Just let me, just, just let me, Jesus love me like you once did. And give, uh, just let, uh, give me the atonement and save me. That's all that matters. The most important thing is that Jesus loved me like you once did. But I'm sick spiritually because I got, I got, it's my Asperger's, but mental illness carries no weight in God's. Court. God doesn't give a damn about your mental illness. I'm in with even with Jesus. With Jesus in my life, with Jesus in me, I'm complete, whole, total. But I got to have the the, the, the good looks, looking hot, seen and being seen by all those top notch girls who will know I'm hot, looking young while having this. And having the long forms, I got to have that be fulfilled on the lesser side, on the physical side. Without this, if I have Jesus and I do not have this, I'm satisfied, truly satisfied, but I'm not complete on a lesser level. If I have my three dreams, everything my little covetous heart wants, and I don't have Jesus, I'm really, really unhappy. But I got to have them both. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. I, clean, I plead this. You gave it to King David. Why can't you di please give it to me? And you gave it to King Solomon. I, I beg you, Jesus, please give me my... Please. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I, That's what the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. If I had to come down... If I had to lose my sight and get cancer... And lose the use of my arms and legs. Let me have five to ten years being thin, able to pig out like I want to, not have been the least bit fat. And after that, I'm willing to suffer. I'm willing to suffer your iron fist beating me down in the ground. I hate you, God, for my being. I hate you, God, for this way. I hate you for being pudgy. I hate you for this, God. I curse you for this way. I shouldn't, but I'm, I'm so angry at you, God. I'm so angry. Fuck you for this weight. Fuck you. I say it in front of all these witnesses. Screw you for this weight. 
that I can't get thin and sexy. I'm, I've, I've barely had anything to eat today, and I'm still putting on weight. Fuck you, God. Fuck you. King David, his corner desires, and he loved him. Why can't I beg you to do the same to me, please? And he was a man of, uh, called a man after God's own heart. He, and yet, God enabled him, not just allowed, but enabled him to break his own law in Deuteronomy 17, 17. The king was not allowed to marry multiple wives. So he to the prophet Nathan told David, I gave you your former King Saul's master's wives into your bosom. If, if, if that had not been enough, I would have been more over giving me such and such. Jesus, I need you. But Jesus Christ, it's not enough. i got to have my three, three dreams and the rewards in heaven besides getting there, besides being loved by you like I once was and getting there, let the, give the rewards to another man. Just give me my dreams, please. But first, love me. Give me, please get, can, can I get back what I had with you? Everything. And he can, can you love me like he once did, tenderly, like I was the only one. And can I have your atonement back? I just gotta be honest. It feels so good being honest. No, I don't believe in Moses in the Exodus. I barely believe in Jesus. But I need Jesus. And that is part, that I think is part of the reason why I don't want him completely because, like I said, if in, if in, it is, that's Bible, that's biblical. If in this life only we have hope in Christ, we are of all men most miserable. The, the whole, the, I only want Jesus for two reasons. His love and because he's eternal and through him I will live forever and ever. If he doesn't deliver on both, Fuck him. Jesus. I need Jesus. I'm wondering if he's true. 